welcome back to my channel. We're gonna do a little nasty gal try on haul here. I have some new spring pieces from them, you guys. They're stuffed. It's like the best place to go for like the most on trend spring trends, I guess, that are coming up, but doing it at an affordable price. They do designer dupes really well. They have amazing bikinis at such an affordable price. And with like summer and spring here, it's nice to find like some cute new bikinis and stuff. So I have a cute little spring haul I wanted to start the video off with. Thank Nasty Gal for working with me in today's video. Everything that I talk about in the show will be linked down below. Um, and I'll also put my sizes and stuff. So everything that I mentioned will be linked. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. So first up, I have this sweat outfit, which when I got in the mail, I was completely blown away with. As you can tell, perfectly oversized fit. I have something across the front of the sweatshirt because I actually already wore this, but so cute. They have a ton of colors in this like style. I got the sweats in a size six and then this in a size eight. I definitely could have done a six in the crew neck, but honestly, I'm still super in to how baggy it is. I wore this at the airport and it was just like so comfy, so easy. I wore it with some white slides in my bag and it was just like super cute. It's also cute if you have like a little crop underneath. It gives it more of like a little shape outfit so you don't feel like so baggy, but super cute little sweat set. Next up, I'm gonna do the two bikinis. I'm not going to try on this black one because I need a size bigger in the top so I'll show you guys it right here so this black bikini you guys is adorable perfectly high-waisted bottom great material for the price of this bikini you guys you cannot get anything better it's so so cute and flattering and then the top I get a size 6 which normally works for me but I will say this does run a little bit small but I just loved the little detail I loved how it was simple and I love a good string bikini top so super cute next up this super cute bikini closer up really cute little top you can adjust the side pretty good adjustable swimsuit the bottoms you can like cinch right here and tie them just really cute i feel like it's a really fun little spring bikini next up this little outfit that i am obsessed with you guys the pants that i'm wearing you need them they are so good my whole fit is nasty gal obviously these pants you guys are so dang good you need to pause this video right now and go get them because they're going to sell out they also have a denim pair i saw kelsey de prima post about these and then i also saw Ju julia havens just talk about them and they are so cute the split ankle is like super in right now and they just fit like a glove here's the pants a little bit up closer i just love how they fit. Also wearing this really cute black top, which is really fun. It's actually like an athletic top, they say, but I thought it was cute with these pants. I just like got jittered all over the side of it. And then these boots that I'm wearing, I'll insert a picture of how I styled them with a dress. I'm gonna show you guys in a second, but they are so good. Next up, this top, you guys. I am obsessed with this top. I am so glad that I ended up ordering it. I was a little bit hesitant, but it is so dang cute. I'm obsessed with the colors. I'm obsessed with the cut. Nice little crochet top. Right now I have no bra on. You could definitely do like little sticky boobs or something if you're worried about like a bra option. But this is so, so cute. I love it with the pants as well. I feel like this is a cute little color combo. Maybe with some like sandals or white sneakers for summer. I have the boots on but I probably would wear light colored shoes with this top. But I'm obsessed with it. It's so cute. I got a size 4 and it's so cute. I've definitely been so into pops of color and I feel like this is a good way to do it. So if you do like a neutral pant, neutral bag and neutral shoes and then you have this like little pop of color top on, that's like a really fun little spring outfit. Okay, last little outfit I have for you guys is this spring dress which is so dang cute. Let me scoot this back so you can see. I feel like you could wear this to a million things, a million events. This would be pretty for like a baby shower. Even if you're pregnant, this would be so, so cute on. I honestly might give this to my sister Sarah. She's pregnant right now and I've already worn it. So it's just like a nice little fun spring dress. You can dress it up, dress it down, wear it with booties, wear it with sandals. I have already worn this and styled it with this leather jacket, which I really love. Such a good little bomber throwover with like denim shorts, um, boots, sandals, whatever you wanna do. White sneakers would be really cute with like some denim and a crop top underneath. Love the details, the shoulder has a really cute little pleated detail, which I love. I got this jacket in a size eight, and I'm wearing the dress in a size four, so 
Love this little outfit closer up. I love these so much. Love a good square toe. So this little fit together is just so fun. Don't forget to check out their website. They have new arrivals very frequently and they are always all so, so good. I'm obsessed with checking their website. I probably check it like almost every morning, if not every other morning. I actually just placed an order from them with some really bright colored items so I can include that in a haul coming up or something like that. So check them out again. Everything will be linked down below and thank you Nasty Gal for working with me into this video. Now we're gonna get into the rest of the vlog. Um, I'm gonna sit down. I just got home from Georgia. Dylan and I were in Georgia for the weekend for our engagement party. We had the best time ever. It was so nice seeing all of our friends and family in one spot. Like some of those friends we haven't seen in like years. So it was just really nice. It was a great, great weekend. So I have some packages that came over the weekend that I thought I would just kind of sit here and unbox with you guys. I'm gonna try to get the house picked up today. I have a lot of filming to do. I'm just gonna start a new vlog. I don't know what this vlog is going to turn into, maybe a few days in my life but I thought I would start with a little unboxing haul. So, do you guys follow Callie Fuller Fit on Instagram? She's the cutest. I've been following her for a little bit and she reached out and wanted to send her new booty bands. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, they are literally, you guys, I opened them last night. Actually, this is the one box I did open. These are insane quality. So she sent the cutest little box. These are her little bands. She has a medium strength and then like a, or light to medium and then like a medium to strong i think actually she wrote it right here and i think i don't think they're sold out yet so hopefully by the time this video is up you can still get them the neutral band is light to medium and then the colorful band is medium to heavy so i'll show you guys what they look like i love my booty sprout machine in the basement that i have i think i've talked about it on instagram a few times um, and that's great but whenever i like travel or something these are going to be so nice to bring she designed them packaged them sent them like literally does everything on her own like a little one-man show so if you're looking to help like support a little small business this is like the best she also has like a program and classes and all that kind of stuff so definitely check her out i'll put her instagram on the screen she's super super cute this is the other band so stinking fun what the heck is going on around this town today it's like the fourth siren i've heard these will be great for travel like i know this summer i'm planning on spending like the whole month of august in florida because dylan has fall camp which basically means i won't see him for like a whole month so i think i'm just gonna go to florida for the month so i probably will bring those i actually ordered these like in February, which is the one frustrating part about ordering from this brand. And then they got sent to my old apartment complex and then they sent them to me. So I'm just now getting them. But you guys know, I love Cherry LA. They have the best athleisure. It's very pricey, but I'm telling you, it's, I find that it's always like the set that I'm reaching for because I just love the quality and the fit. You know how you have like that one sweat set or like sweatshirt that you're always like, oh, I'm always wearing this. It's just because that's the one you love the most. So. This is with their Valentine's Day drop, so obviously it's not available, but thought I would show it anyways, just in case you guys wanted to give them a follow, because they're always like talking about when they do drops. Got their little crop tee. It's in like a chocolate brown, which I really liked. It says 1-800-555-CHERRY, and it has the little like angel devil. I don't know what exactly it is. Yeah, devil with the cigarette in its mouth. Got the matching sweat set. So in sizing, I get mediums in the top and then I get a large in their crew necks or hoodies and then mediums in their joggers for size reference. And this is the crew neck, so cute. This is the back and it's just like the nicest, thickest, comfiest quality material. And they come in these really cute little bag. Got another little sticker, someone's calling me. Hello. Hi, how are you? Okay, anyways, here are the sweats. Super cute, just like a little chocolate brown and it has the heart. Their sweats just fit so like perfectly oversized and baggy. I just love, I just love their sweat sets. They're the best. Oh, I ordered these Reeboks off of Amazon. I've been wanting like a new pair of white sneakers. I've been seeing like a little bit of people in these, so I thought I would give them a little try. They're like, way more on the affordable side and I loved the green on them for spring. So I think they were like 70 bucks on Amazon. I'll link them and super cute. I got a size seven and a half. So I'm hoping that they fit. Look like this. They're just like the old school Reeboks. Super cute. And they're, they're white and then the sole is like an ivory color. So you can do like off white and white with them, which I love. And then the cute little fun green detail. So I got those. 
I'll link them for you guys because again, they got them off Amazon, so that's super nice. I got a huge package of skincare from pharmacy. They actually sent me a bunch of stuff, which I am so excited about. You guys know I like talk about the um, honey moisturizer and I love their toner. I love their melt away makeup balm. They have the cutest packaging and I just love like how they brand their products. So really excited about this. They actually reached out and like asked what products I was interested in and this was one of them that was like, I would love to try this. So this is the Whipped Greens. It's an oil-free foaming cleanser. I'm always switching up my skincare, you guys know this. When people are like, what's your favorite, like, I have a few favorites that I keep in my routine, but I love switching it up and that's how my skin works the best. So that's just what I do. I know like that's not typical and how everyone's skin is, but that's just what works best for me. I've actually been wanting a really good face oil because when I do like my skincare like rolling out in the morning and stuff, it's nice to have an oil on your face so it's not like pulling at your skin like when you use facial tools and stuff it's nice to have an oil on there look at this packaging so stinking cute literally looks like a little jar of honey so it looks like the moisturizer packaging but it's a facial mask which i'm excited they also include a little spatula and all of their lids are magnetic for the honey line and i just love this line of their stuff so check out oh i also got the cheer up brightening vitamin c eye cream which i actually was watching um hayley bieber's night routine which is where i take all of my skincare tips from her i just think she's a skincare genius and she also probably uses resources that are out of my like financial budget so i'm like okay if she's going to be sharing her tips like she's obviously getting them from someone who is like a really high up dermatologist that works with celebrities and just like all of that so I like actually really trust her it's it's easier to like trust someone who's talking about skincare when you're like wow they have really nice skin they must know how they're taking care of it so she's beautiful skin and so I love listening to her for advice and tips and she was saying how you need to have an eye cream on it's like one of the most important skincare steps and it's something that not a lot of people think about and I never use eye cream so when I saw that they sent this I was like I cannot wait to like put this on daily because eye cream is so important i feel like and it's something that i just lack in my routine so i'm excited to get that going so do you want to go in the car do you want to go get a coffee in the car let's go i miss you so much on my trip i miss you so much oh my gosh i'm freezing you guys colorado weather needs to get it together real such a beautiful day but still just a little bit too chilly for my liking <laughs> i'll be right back <laughs> okay <laughs> i did a workout in the basement and then i like did my skincare and now i just feel so oily but um yeah i feel like i brought i brought winnie with me to get a coffee i had this pair of sunglasses that have been like shoved in my console my car I'm gonna use the old sweatshirt <laughs> clean them off his white sweatshirt yeah I brought Winnie with me in the car just because I know she loves riding in the car and I feel like I don't bring her as many places because honestly since being in Fort Collins everywhere we go we're either like gone for a long time or it's somewhere that she can't be so I also have been since living in Fort Collins going to different coffee places and they just have so many better coffee shops here I feel like then Raleigh did there's a lot of options and so I found myself going to Starbucks less and less which is good because whenever I go get a coffee it's like a really special treat if I'm in like the Starbucks mood I normally just make it at home because I have all the exact stuff that I use to make my coffee so I went to Bindle coffee and I got a little oat milk latte it's been like my favorite place to get coffee but my whole point of the story is that they don't have puppuccinos, so I bring Winnie and she just sits in the car, <laughs> but it's okay. Still likes to be a part of it, so little oat milk latte from Bindle Coffee. I think they have like two locations, but I always go to the Jessup Farm one. I'm going to go home and get some work done, and my com camera's about to die, so I need to charge that. Just filmed a little what's in my tote bag, travel bag, whatever you want to call it. I feel like I have a ton of what's in my... Oh someone's calling me this is a little aftermath i just got this new tripod i will link it for you guys 
I love sitting in front of natural light to film my videos like a ring lights great but nothing is better than natural light so I got this off of Amazon super affordable you can put your phone on it there's like a little attachment for your phone and then you can also just put your camera so I love that um, I will link it for you I think it was like 17 bucks maybe but I'm gonna put all this up and I might start editing that video because I would love to get it up like in the next day or so for you guys I'm walking around the house trying to find Winnie and look at where I just found her. She's literally sleeping. I didn't make the bed today, so I think she thinks she can. She's sleeping like a human. Winnie, that is your mom's spot. Winnie. You guys, <laughs> she's so cute or hurt. Why are you the cutest dog in the world? Are you sleepy? I'm sleepy too. I'm sleepy too. Are you taking a nap? I love you. I'm having a little snack. It is 2 o'clock, so around lunchtime. And I really have like no groceries, you guys. We have HelloFresh coming. It's supposed to be coming tonight or tomorrow-ish. And I'm going to dinner with a bunch of like coaching wives and stuff like that tonight. So I'm just going to go grocery shopping tomorrow is my point because we've been out of town and stuff. So... I'm just going to have a little bit of some snacks. I thought I would show you some of my go-to snacks right now. So I've been obsessed with carrots. I don't know what it is. Look, I got this two-pack from Costco a few weeks ago, and I ate literally this whole pack almost on my own. Dylan doesn't really snack on carrots like I do. So carrots and hummus. This is the hummus that I love, the roasted garlic hummus from Whole Foods. It's so yummy, and the ingredients are super clean. And then if you guys have never tried these pickles... You have to go to the store right now while you're watching this. Pause the video. Go get these Grillo's pickles. I think that's how you say it. They have like fresh dill and like chunks of garlic. And they're just like so flavorful and good. Really crunchy, which is like the key to a good pickle. So I'm obsessed with those. And pickles are such a good snack. They're really super low in calories. And then also apples and peanut butter are such a good like original snack. I feel like I'm always forgetting about these. So I get honey crisp apples. They're my favorite. This is from Trader Joe's. And then this fresh homemade, let me get the label, peanut butter from Whole Foods. Game changer, you guys. Unless you have the time to make it on your own, which I've been wanting to do, but I just haven't yet. I'm more of a peanut butter person than almond butter, so they have both at Whole Foods. So if you have a Whole Foods near you and you want to get like a clean peanut butter, the ingredients are literally just organic, unsalted, dry roasted peanuts. Um, and that's literally it. So clean ingredient peanut butter. If you go into the aisles at your supermarket, the peanut butter that you get is going to have a ton of added just like junk that is unnecessary and it honestly tastes better in my opinion with less ingredients. This is my go-to. Super simple. I sit here and I literally don't even put it on a plate and stand at the kitchen counter and snack. It's so good. I'm getting ready to head to dinner. Um, the head coach's wife at Colorado State is hosting like a little Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo is tomorrow, but... Um, she's having like Mexican catered and it's like the first kind of little get together that the like coach's wife's girlfriends, fiance's, whatever you want to call us are doing. So I'm really excited to like meet the other ladies. I'm also like a little bit nervous. I'm like one of the youngest for sure, but it'll be fun. I always get, I'm, I'm the type of person where it takes a lot of energy out of me to hang out with others. Um, like from the initial start but then once I get to know someone I'm like very outgoing it's just like the initial like shyness that I have a hard time with I wear my new sneakers I think I showed these at the beginning of this vlog so cute and they also fit true to size I tried them on after I was done filming and they were so cute I'm trying to dress like not like a crop top and I'm trying to like wear something appropriate so I was having a hard time with like what top to wear and it's honestly kind of chilly once the sun goes down so anyways I'm someone where it takes like a good bit of energy for me to like get the initial situation going but after that I feel like I'm fairly outgoing a lot of my friends I feel like would say that about me as well I'm like shy but then also I feel like I'm not shy so I don't know 
you guys probably are like, what is she talking about? So anyways, we're getting ready. I gotta leave. Dylan's not home yet from work, but he'll be home later. So once I get back, he'll be here. And yeah, I'm probably not gonna bring the camera because all of these older ladies are probably like, what do you mean that's what you do? I'm also drinking a new flavor of the Olipop, which I wanted to share. It's strawberry vanilla, and I'm obsessed with this soda, you guys. I am a soda freak as of recently, which is like so bad because I'm trying not to have any sugar really, or limit my sugar, and this is really, really good. A cute little drink, and it's like a nice little treat. It tastes really good. My office is literally such a disaster, but wanted to do a little outfit. I'm wearing this little crew neck kind of dressed up sweatshirt basically with little shoulder pads. It's from Zara, super cute. My Goldie jeans, you guys. If you do not have these jeans by now, you need them. I have them in the denim color and then the white. The white is so fun for summer. I'll link them. I always get them off Revolve and they're always restocking. So super cute. And then my little Reeboks. And then I'll probably just grab this bag right here. And I'm out the door. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, well, just got a Starbucks. So I found myself going to Starbucks less and less, which is good. I'm gonna head home. I'm kind of rushing home because I have a furniture delivery today, which is really, my car is not even on, which I'm really excited about. The two chairs to our living room are coming and they just called me and I missed it. So I feel like I need to call them back to make sure we're all good, but I think they're gonna show up earlier than I thought. So I'm so excited for them to come. I hope they fit though. Hi, this is Rachel. I just got a voicemail from you. I just wanted to confirm and let you know that I'll be there. Okay, sweet deal. Perfect. Thank you. Absolutely, ma'am. Thank you. We'll see you soon. All right, bye. Bye-bye. Okay, here we go. <laughs> just got home. Thought I would do a little Target haul. This is probably not even worth sharing, but it's like the most boring stuff. I got this cute little trash can for my office just to like slide in the corner under my desk or something. I thought it was cute because it was a little gold color. Got a new watermelon. We've been going through these like weekly. They are so yummy. <laughs> some cleaning supplies. I got some more Starbucks pods for Dylan. Um, I found this four pack of the coconut water, which I love with my smoothies. This is a really good brand. Um, I cannot drink coconut water on its own. I think it's like pretty gross, but in smoothies, it's super refreshing and hydrating. These are really, really good. I thought I would share these with you. Over quarantine last summer sarah and i my older sister we were like obsessed with these and then i kind of just forgot about them if you ever have like a sweet tooth at night or something those are really good and then some cleaning supplies that we were out of so that's a little target haul i need to get this house picked up because like you guys just saw the movers are coming to do the chairs what are you doing <laughs> i can share with you guys you've probably seen these two blue squares so these are where the chairs are going so i need to get this tape up move this out of the way the living room is just like a mess. Like what, I don't, I couldn't even tell you what's going on. We have a new couch coming, but that doesn't come till like, I wanna say July. So we have just part of the white one here, but like we have the outline of the new couch. So you guys can see the size. It's a little bit longer than this and a little bit skinnier. So it's not as like bulky and in the way. It's also not white. So that is good news. I'm gonna get this all picked up and then I'll show you guys the chairs once they get here. I'm so excited. Chairs are here, I'm so excited, from CB2. They're actually a lot smaller than I anticipated, like, okay. See here? So this is me <laughs> in the chair. So super cute, I really, really like them. Definitely smaller. I wish that they were a little bit bigger, but we're in a smaller home right now. So I actually think it's perfect for the house we're in, um, eventually when we get a bigger living room, we'll probably get two bigger, like, more, like, relaxing chairs, but these are still 
pretty comfortable. Like I would say I would sit here and like work, relax. Um, I just wanted like a couch and two chairs type of vibe in the living room instead of the sectional. I just kind of wanted to switch it up. So that's what I did, but I really like them. They're from CB2 and hang on. One of the main reasons I got them was, well, it's actually a new style chair that they just came out with. It's called the Amber Chair. And I really liked how like they look modern, but also classic. Like I love the slope arm and I love the material. Um, if you guys know of like the famous CB2 chair that is like that round swivel chair that a lot of people have. Um, this is kind of like a take on that, but a little bit more like traditional, I guess you could say. And the couch that we have coming is actually sloped armed as well. So I thought that it, <laughs> I thought it would look good together. I was just kind of playing around with like a throw pillow on it and then seeing like what a table between. This is our side table from our bedroom. It's not going to stay there. I think I'm going to get a black long rectangle like metal table with maybe like, um, there's an outlet on the floor back there. So I thought maybe one of those overhanging tall lamps maybe. I originally was gonna put this olive tree in this corner to hide all of that and then move the frames over here. But now I'm thinking that this olive tree needs to stay here to give it height and stuff. Obviously like none of this is complete like at all. Like that's not staying. I need a pot right there. None of that's staying and stuff like that. I need to move the coffee table forward, I think, and then the new couch will go all right here, but that's just gonna be a few weeks. <laughs> but all in all, I think I'm pretty happy with them. The original chair that I wanted to go with was like a black iron rod chair, and then it had like this white cushion. Oh, it's... the hell is that noise? They were pretty expensive as well. I mean, furniture is just not cheap, but those were also pretty expensive and Dylan was like, those don't look comfortable at all because they're literally like black iron rods. So it's like where you go to put your arm, like would be like a metal rod. So these are actually pretty comfy. I'm nervous to see how Dylan will fit in them because again, they're a lot smaller than I thought. I think I said before the chairs even came, I was like, I'm nervous that they're gonna be too big for our space, but they actually fit like pretty well. So I'm gonna leave the tags on, make sure Dylan likes them because again, they were like, an investment they weren't super affordable but i really like them and i think that they look really nice and like plush and stuff so just got back from trader joe's i got a ton of stuff a lot of it is just like generic, like groceries. We've been gone. Lighting's bad, but I'm gonna set, I'm not gonna bore you guys with a full grocery haul because it's literally just stuff that I get every time. But I did get some new things. I love this pasta. I haven't had it in a little bit. So got one of those. Got a lot of fruits, um, vegetables. We have HelloFresh that just came, so that's nice. We don't have to have a ton of like meats and stuff for like actual meals, but I did get like a few things just because whenever I'm busy or something and I'm not like cooking, Dylan like is fully capable of cooking and totally well, but sometimes I like to just have like easier options for him to grab, so we've got that. I also got some of their lemonade. I love putting that in my tea and also like for a cocktail. Today is Cinco de Mayo, so we're having tacos, which will be yummy and I might make like a little drink. Got some chips, got it all. I also, I'm gonna try out this buffalo ranch chopped salad. Um, I've never had this before and I actually have never seen it. I don't know if it's new, I'm sure it's not. Bunch of lettuce, spinach, stuff for um, smoothies. I also have been loving this coleslaw kit for our shrimp tacos that we make. This is really, really good. It comes with like a dressing that you can use, but we I just eat it raw and I put it on like salads and stuff. I also finally got um, crushed ginger. Last time I went to the store, I meant to get this, but I ended up getting garlic. So this will be nice to start putting in my smoothies in the morning. I got cheese and meat. It's like mine and Dylan's guilty pleasure. We sit there and just snack on crackers and a little cheese platter. Great chip options. Well, I guess cracker options. These are so good dipped in like any type of dip. And then the pita bites we have with the cheese plate. Two ginger shots, which I'm excited about. And then I got some onion and chive cream cheese. We have everything bagels and it's so 
good together. The combo is so good. At our engagement party, I thought I would show you just because I'm talking about meat and cheese. I got a little marble cheese board that has an A on it. It's like our first A thing, which is so fun. We actually had two friends get this for us and I'm so excited because they're kind of little so whenever we have like people out we can set both out and then also one of my friends Teddy my old college roommate she gave us this book that's like all of this stuff for how to make like a beautiful cheese board and like dips and stuff and like recipes that you can use literally just like an unbelievable book I'm like why did I not know about this before like look at some of these cheese plates that they have they're insane so that's a cute little gift um the brand of the cheese board is mud pie I can link it for you guys I, should, I think you can get it off of Amazon so I'm gonna put all of this up um and I'm gonna prep like some ranch I'm gonna prep some salsa I'm gonna put my salsa recipe in the description I always get a ton of dms about it and I'm gonna make some for Cinco de Mayo, so I will put that in the description. And then also, so my major score of today, I was at the grocery store and I ran into this place called Tuesday Morning. It's kind of like a, ignore this mess right here. Um, it's kind of like a home goods, and I found this pot, and I also got like all of these flowers. I'm gonna make a ton of flower arrangements, but this pot is gonna be for the olive tree in the living room. I'm so excited. This pot, you guys, the best part about it, it was literally $29. Like, this pot sells on McGee & Co. and like Amber Interiors for like 200 bucks plus. And I literally found it, it's so heavy. It's such nice material and I'm obsessed with it. So 29 bucks at Tuesday morning. If you have Tuesday morning, go see if they have one near you. I'm so excited about it. Got fully stocked fridge. Literally nothing is better than having a fully stocked fridge. <laughs> I have these two new vases from Crate and Barrel. I will link both. I just recently got this size because I love this one so much. I get so many compliments on these vases. They're just like a really cute, nice shape and they go with any like room, any decor. I actually sent my mom this one for Mother's Day, so. And I think they're like 25 bucks, nothing too crazy. Triple A, credits are right. Hang up the phone and let your heart break on the inner lane. 24 twice, she's on the phone, but she's staying on. Will shop Boulevard, old dreams dying hard. You want you to return. I ended up just putting the flowers everywhere around the house, so I have a bunch of vases. Um, I also put the olive tree in the pot. I'm super excited about that little find. When Dylan gets home, we're going to work on covering up that cord tonight. So living room is finally coming together. I'm definitely going to be getting like a little table to go in between those chairs. And then the table right here, I have some eucalyptus. Super cute. And then did some tulips in my office. I need to pick up my desk and I still need to unpack this suitcase, but thought the little yellow was cute in here. And then this might be my little favorite corner. Look at those little flowers. They're so cute in that vase. And I thought it just looked cute in our bed. So love. I love having fresh flowers around the house. It makes me feel... I have no idea what it is about having fresh flowers around the house, but I just feel like just makes my house feel so much more homey and I feel more relaxed. Like if there's not flowers on my coffee table, you know like something's wrong or that we've been out of town or something because I always have flowers everywhere. And Trader Joe's is such a lifesaver because flowers can get super expensive, but at Trader Joe's like, I think those were $4.99, which is super affordable and their flowers last me like two, two and a half weeks. So it's pretty impressive for the price. And I also really love getting um, roses at Costco. So if you're a Costco member, check out their flowers. They have really good ones too. Okay, happy Cinco de Mayo. It's fun. So, do you think this is fun? Look at me. What I'm doing? No, what, what's on my wrist? Do you think this is fun? Yeah. <laughs> Which way to go? Cause 
Hey